Hey, how's it going? Oh, man, I am exhausted. I'm uh, just in the middle of a uh, moving flat. I tell you what, I think these flats are getting smaller and smaller. This place is a shoebox, but I uh, suppose they have to. The number of people there are on this planet is currently growing by around 87 million people every year. That is basically the population of Germany every year. So uh, needless to say, space is going to start getting a bit tight and uh, we're going to have to start living in these smaller and smaller spaces. Some countries have got more space than others. In Australia, the average footprint, that is the floor space of a home, is around 214 metres squared. Whereas in Hong Kong, which is much smaller than Australia, the average footprint of a home is only 45 metres squared, so about a quarter of the size of a home in Australia. And people in Hong Kong tend to live in apartment blocks or flats like this. This is because apartment blocks allow you to stack homes one on top of the other, taking up less space on the ground than individual houses would. You only really need space on the ground for one home and then you could just stack more on top of it. The largest apartment block in the world is Central Park Tower in New York. It has a whopping 133 floors and is 1,550 feet tall. I could probably fit all my stuff in that. Where am I going to put all my stuff? Maybe you guys could help me figure it out. So I don't have any furniture or any appliances in my flat yet, so I need to decide what I'm going to have. Should I get a bath or a shower? Or a shower that goes over the bath? Should I get a single bed or a double bed? Or maybe a sofa bed? Maybe if I tell you how much space I have, you can help me decide. So my flat is just one room set out like this. So it's one big room and I literally don't have anything in there yet. So no oven, no shower, no toilet, no anything. It's just an empty space at the moment. So the sort of big bit of my apartment measures five metres by five metres. And the little add-on bit measures two metres by three metres. So the big bit of my apartment in total measures 25 metres squared. And the small bit measures six metres squared. So in total, my total space in my flat is 25 metres squared plus 6 metres squared, which gives me 31 metres squared of space. The only stuff I have currently is a few boxes of books and my kitchen pots and plates and things. So these will need to go somewhere. I would like to be able to sleep, so I will need to have some form of bed somewhere. Uh, I'll need somewhere to put my clothes. I'll need to be able to wash, so I'll need either a bath or a shower. I'll need to be able to go to the toilet, obviously. I'll need to be able to store and cook food and store waste. And I'll also need somewhere to work because I work at home. Ideally, I'd like somewhere to sit and watch TV, but that's not essential, I guess. Some designers have come up with some really cool bits of furniture that can do several different things. So this would save me having to have lots of different types of furniture. Maybe some of my bits of furniture could fold away while I'm not using it. I'll leave it up to you. You can play around with what to put where by drawing a diagram or making a card model of my flat. Now, obviously, you would need a lot of paper to draw out a flat that's seven metres long. So you can scale it down. If you take the measurements of my flat, and times them all by four, and then take your answers and say that they're centimetres rather than metres, that should give you a plan of my flat that you can draw out that should fit on an A4 piece of paper. You could make little card bits of furniture and move them around your plan to see where they fit best, or you could just draw them in with a pencil and rub them out if you've changed your mind. You could even make a Lego model of my flat and move little Lego bits of furniture around. Or you could make a plan of the flat on your computer, maybe even a 3D picture of the flat, and you can create furniture in your computer and move it around the room to see what looks best. 
Planner 5D is a piece of software you can use to create flats and homes, create your own furniture and appliances and move things around to see what things look like. I'd really like to see all your designs of my micro flat so I can start to get my place in order. Obviously, I'm in between places at the moment, so it's probably best you don't post them to me, but I have my phone. So if you tweet them and tag in at STEM clubs, I'll be able to see them all. That would be a massive help. I can't wait to see them. Thank you so much. Bye for now.